This project is about a problem with your minster. The building is hundreds of years old and it has been eroding over centuries and over those centuries lots of people have repaired it and we're just the latest phase of repair and restoration. Science is helping us on the east front of York Minster because we've been able to observe over the past few decades and even centuries the way that the magnesium limestone, the stone from which York Minster is made, but we've never been able to look at that in microscopic detail. What we're trying to apply to this problem are a range of um, x-ray techniques. A lot of people might be familiar with the idea of going to hospitals and getting their, their arms or their legs x-rayed after, after an injury, but these techniques can also be used to tell you about the structure and chemical composition of materials techniques we're using can actually tell you about the surface composition so we're able to probe specifically those sites within the stone. This is from the east front and it's limestone but it's a piece of 19th century limestone and this shows that even 19th century limestone decays very rapidly and you can see the level of decay here. This is one of the pieces that we're going to be looking at very closely in terms of the level of decay, what's going on within the stone. And we're going to trial some of the conservation techniques that we're using on the east front on this canopy in the stone yard. Magnesium limestone is a, is a wonderful building stone. It's quarried in the area south of York. So the stone that we have here comes from a whole range of quarries. It is a wonderful stone to carve. It, it is a beautiful colour, this creamy limestone colour, but it's also vulnerable to decay. Salts that are present are coming to the surface of the stone and you can see some of these salts here on the surface just between two blocks of stone coming out through a mortar joint. And those salts are normally washed off but where they're not washed off in an interior or more problematically on the exterior of a building, we have to deal with them and we have to think about the problems that they're creating. So the machine that uh, we've been looking at is called an X-ray photoelectron spectrometer and this is a vacuum chamber which has vacuum pretty much the same level as found in space and this will tell you about the composition of the surface of stones and then once we can identify what their composition is we can then advise the stonemasons what the best material is to use in the restoration process. The kinds of techniques that we'll use to conserve this piece of stone are going to be using surface coatings, so a combination of lime, mortar, sour milk, perhaps some yellow ochre, just to create a surface that will protect it from the elements. And that will become that sacrificial layer, which when the salts come out of the stone, they'll go into that layer, it will be washed off, and then it can be reapplied. Once we understand how the stone starts to erode, we can then advise the stonemasons and the people who are involved in the restoration process on either should they be replacing those materials, and if so, what materials would be better to, to use than ones that maybe have been used in unsuccessful restoration campaigns. This work's very important for society because what we hope to be able to do is advise the, the, the key people involved in the conservation of these buildings so that we can essentially secure the history of, of the UK and these buildings be maintained for future generations. Limestone is one of the most important building stones in this country. It runs in a huge belt up from the southwest of England right up to its outcrop here in the northeast and all limestone buildings are suffering from weathering and erosion and all of them have been restored over time. 
So the work that we're doing here informs not just practice at cathedrals, but could inform the routine maintenance, the day-to-day -day care, the restoration and conservation work at thousands of other historic buildings in the country. And it's that hard science that we are bringing into the work at York Minster that we think is pretty unique here. And it's a very interesting starting point for projects that might continue both here and elsewhere in the country.